she was the alternative model who took on her fiancé's very alternative look. But when it came to her dream day, her head was firmly in the clouds. Every princess has two dresses. And this princess wanted the fairy tale. It would be in a castle, it would have unicorns, it would be the most magical thing ever. Did she say unicorns? Unicorns. Yeah, she did. Unfortunately for Terry, her groom-to-be, Martin... It needs to be a big metal show. One more word! ...chose metal over magical. But how did Terry really feel when the curtain came up on her wedding day? There was a hell of a lot of metal at our wedding. It's surprising that I didn't have a metal dress. When Terry left Martin to plan her big day, she had high hopes about what her groom and his best man, Ben, would pull off. Yes. We've got a wedding to plan. With Ben and Martin working together, I did think that they would get a lot done and that they would agree on a lot of things. If only that were the case. As the boys got off to a bad start. A really, really bad start. That day, Ben got a bit upset that I'd invited the lads along. I mean... I think he just wanted it to be me and him. You're just jealous because I've got other people here. So you're acting like an idiot now? No, I'm not acting like I've an idiot. I've got three what best men. No, what difference is it between me and Sam and Josh? Forget it, Ben. Go on. It's more funny than anything, seeing them pulling faces and shouting at each other. They just seem to argue a hell of a lot about stuff that didn't need to be argued about. After four days, the boys were still without a venue and the pressure was growing. Whatever your little mind were doing at that moment, My I little do mind not know. is trying to pull a wedding out of the bag for you and two guys. And what do you guys. think I'm trying to do? All you're thinking about is your ego, Martin. Right, you're going to have to walk away because I'm really going to just take your head off. Really? I'm sure Terry would be so chuffed with effort you're making right now. A fight. One more word, mate. Mention Terry again. They argued more times than they was planning stuff. Terry's my mate, mine as well. Look at what you're doing. I regret lashing out on Ben that day. I do regret that. But, I mean, if someone's going to push someone to the limit, you've got to expect a reaction. It's as simple as that. Ben didn't back down, though, did it? You had to take yourself into a little cupboard. <laughs> you're not saying anything about that one? No. <laughs> but the boys weren't the only ones finding it tough as Terry was having her own difficulties with her mum. And tensions between the pair boiled over whilst looking at wedding dresses. When we went dream dress shopping, me and my mum had a bit of a do. When I came out in one of the dresses, I heard her say something, and that's just when I snapped. I think this is more of the church dress. Mum, it's mom. not your wedding. I'm just sure. talking. What's she saying? Nothing. She's like, I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything at all. Like you did. I don't even want you in the wedding. We both have different opinions. We both get on each other's nerves, but she's my best friend. At the same time, we always make up. Well, you're still in a strap as well. Are you going to give me a Don't give us this. <laughs> give me a cuddle. Oh. Do it. I don't even want you in my wedding. <laughs> At least Martin had a bit more fun when he went dress shopping. I was pretty pissed. I think we'd had about two bottles of champagne before actually choosing the dress, so yeah, it was a bit of a shocker, really. Which is pretty much what Terry thought when she saw it. I really don't want to see it. You'd be OK. When I first saw my dress, I absolutely hated it. When she opened it up, I was just like... Uh. <gasps> that moment of seeing your dress and then not liking it is the worst feeling in the world. The whole dress day, it was just unbelievably stressful. But then we thought we'd try it on. Your boobs, your figure, honestly, babe, it looks gorgeous. You do Very look classic. stunning, Terry. You do look stunning. Classic. Still, it was huge. It just went out instead of in. Um, and it went until um, they came in and altered it and took it in. So it went like down to like a fishtail mermaid. Then I started to like it. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> On the morning of my wedding, I 
was expecting. Two unicorns with a lovely little carriage. If I could have brought Terry in on a unicorn, I would have done, but unicorns don't exist. So, I mean, it had to be a bus. But for the girl who dreamt of a fairy tale wedding in a princess castle full of unicorns, the bus was the least of her worries. It's a hall. It's a hall. That's when I just saw like five white vans lined up with equipment and guitars. And then I just heard this real loud noise. Once inside, her worst fears were confirmed. Oh, it's metal music. It's metal music. It is a metal show. I just wanted to marry metal with marriage. It was very metal. More metal. More metal. When I, mean, I was waiting in the doors on the red carpet, I sort of got a glimpse, and I think that's when it really set in that this is real. Walking down the aisle, getting to my head, nothing else in my head. It was just like, it's a bit like a dream, that bit. It was just really emotional. When the first time you see him walking down the aisle in the wedding dress you've chose, it's just, it's just, a, it's an overwhelming feeling, and she looks smoking. So after three tempestuous weeks, it was a very emotional reunion for Terry and her prince. It is my promise. It is my promise. That I will share with you. That I will share with you. All that I have. All that I have. And all that I am. And all that I am. The vows, that was crazy. I couldn't even speak the vows. I just kept sobbing and... <laughs> I will honour you. I will honour you. And care for you. And care for you. And we will be as one. And we will be as one. Yeah, my vows were pretty traditional, but that's just pretty much because I don't know what a vow is. So I just had to go with the simplest route. For Martin and Terry, it is my very great pleasure to pronounce you husbands and wife together. The actual wedding day, it wasn't what I would plan. Um, it was great and I loved it, but it wasn't what I would plan. The metal took over. So Christmas is a time for giving, not receiving. And Terry's got the perfect gift they can all enjoy. As a thank you for putting on a big metal show at our wedding, I've got your little Christmas present. It's what is not. happening? I couldn't have my unicorns on my day. Now I can. There's something missing. <laughs> something missing. Where's the other bit? Are <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> You're the rear end to my unicorn. Are you ready to go to the pub? It's the most wonderful time of and with her new four-legged friend in tow, Terry's finally got her unicorn. Time to show off to her friends and family. Eight, eight. Our first Christmas married and I got my unicorn. Well, maybe we can put it on tonight. Ooh, someone's got the horn. Just saying. <laughs>